Hi, it's Kelly here. And in a moment, I'm going to tell you the amazing story of my neighbor uh, who, over, over the years, has committed a number of strong-armed robberies and spent 34 years in prison, and how my invention uh, just might have helped him. Uh, but first, I, I must say a few words about my shirt. This is my, yep, well, you, let me put it this way. Do you have a shirt that you really like? You know, it just feels really good, and hangs on your right, and all of that. Well, that's this shirt, and it's frayed, 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 but I love it. So, please forgive me <laughs> for my, <laughs> please forgive me for my bad habits. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the story, and I'm going to call him Bob. Uh, he lives up, it's about 50 yards uh, as the crow flies right there. And, um, oh, I, I need to tell you that, see, and you may not know this, this is a story I've never told before, but I happen to live in subsidized housing due to my, my broken back and disability and inability to work. And besides the fact that I'm, you know, going to be 74 in a couple weeks, or no, less than that a week. Um, but anyway, uh, so I don't get to choose so much where I get to live, right, where I live. So my neighbor over there, he's Bob, uh, he uh, told me that he had been gone to prison for strong-armed robbery and that each time he, the reason he would get caught is he'd be using drugs, and that's, that was the times that he would get caught. And, uh, and over, you know, doing this repeatedly, he uh, spent a total of 34 years in prison. And, uh, and then when he first moved in here, not long after, I noticed that, th that he was having visitors. They were much younger than him, pretty unsavory looking guys. Um, and they would come over for just short periods of time. They might be there 10 or 15 minutes a lot of times. Um, so it was, you know, kind of suspicious to me. Well, now here we are a few years later, and Bob uh, is just like a great guy. He, he just wants to help people. He's really a good guy. So. And you say, well, what changed? And I like to say, Bob changed. And uh, he's also been benefiting from the fact that my apartment is filled with heartfelt energizers of various sorts that are operating. And I will have links in, on YouTube to uh, videos where you can learn about those. And also be a link for learning how to do a similar kind of a thing by using your ceiling fans with twisted copper wire. And that, that, those links will all be down below the video. So it's pretty doggone exciting and extraordinary. And, uh, you know, and you might be wondering, well, how far does this energy go? And, well, you know, across the street from, from you know, where I live is a line of trees, almost like a forest. and. I guess there are houses on the other side on the next street over, but I don't know anybody there. But I, I get the idea that the trees are happy ha and happier, and, and the squirrels are happy, and the birds, and the butterflies, and the bees are all happy about all this energy that's going out. And I can also give you an example of the Walmart here in, in this town. It's about two miles from here. I, spend, I, I go there. At least I used to four or five times a week. Go there a lot. And I noticed when I first moved here in the small town that the obesity was unbelievable. How everybody was obese, just about, was obese. And, uh, there, you know, in a year's time, I saw maybe one female who had the traditional shape of a female, you know, kind of hourglass. You know, only one. Well, now, when I go to the Walmart, oh, and i, I got to tell you first, I decided to count how many obese people, and it, it's particularly the, the women were more so, although there's plenty of obese men, but the women more so, I think, because they're using their cell phones a lot more to keep track of their kids, their grandkids, or what have you. And so they're being exposed to higher levels of uh, 
of these frequencies that are not good for us. Fast forward now, when I go to the Walmart, particularly the younger girls, you know, the teenagers, they have the normal female shape. You know, they're, they're, they're slim and, and uh, you know, some of them have hourglass figures and, uh, you know, not all of them, but a good number of them are like that. And, and if I, I could consecutively count them, just like I consecutively counted 13 obese women, you know, about five years ago, I don't know if I mentioned that. I just started counting. It was 13 in, in a row without break before it came to a woman who was not obese. And that's changed. Now, the, the middle-aged and older women, it seems like they're getting s slimmer, too, to a s most of them. Um, and and the, the younger ones have the advantage that their hormones weren't messed with or aren't being messed with as much as the as they older women had happened to them as they went through puberty. So there's a, it's going at least those two miles, and the people who shop there, they might come from 10 or 20 miles around because it's just a small town and there's no Walmart anywhere nearby, so they, they gravitate to the Walmart here. So it's, a, it's having an effect you know, out there as well. To what degree, I couldn't say, but obviously if you go in the store, you can see it in the, in, in the, the uh, improvements in their obesity levels. Um, lots, I mean, lots of girls now are just looking perfectly normal, like normal high school girls. Um, so um, this is great, great news. And we can make this happen instantly. It works at the speed of light. And you'll see benefits. For example, if you have anybody in your home who has autism or ADHD or, or uh, dementia, you will see immediate improvements. Plus, even if you don't have that, you will notice at the very least that you sleep better and that you um, have more energy the next day. So you'll see it right away. So that's, that's benefiting you and your family and maybe your neighbors around you. But if we really want to make this world change so it's not like San Francisco where people are drooped over like frozen flowers, you know, like this, standing up, bent over. I don't even know how they do it, but they do. Uh, it's one drug or another, and uh, other, you know, and, and we don't want that to come here or where you live. But it is eventually coming this way because of a, a variety of reasons, and a lot of it having to do with the frequencies that we are absorbing that are not good for us. So. The way to make the entire country and the entire world into attitudinal gardens of Eden, if you will jump on the bandwagon and host a, your own specific experience, give a little detail, people will see that and it will be social proof for them and they will likewise do the same thing and they will post their specific detail and how it helped them. And then if with that approach, we can hit enough people that by the end of August, you know, it's only that's 39 days away, I believe, and the entire world could be filled with attitudinal gardens of Eden by the end of August. And then letting nature take its course, uh, we could have actual gardens of Eden everywhere. And every, with everyone having the proper attitude, not to blow it this time, right? So please do two things. Use the links to find out what you need to do to make this a part of your life. And then also uh, share and leave comments. Um, and it'll happen. By the way, if you, if you subscribe, then YouTube will give you access to let you know about other videos that I'm making or have made. So let's, let's do this. Let's make this world into a Garden of Eden. We can do it, and we can do it in less than a month. Oh, by the way, let me just give you this little plug. Uh, being that I'm a poor boy living in, in 
Okay, subsidized housing. Uh, this is a book I wrote. It's called, Is There a Question That Heals Instantly? And in that book, there's more information about sort of what I was telling you about. There's four little chapters in there about, about that. Um, and all my books are available on, on uh, Amazon. Uh, in the description, there'll be uh, the names of the books, and you can you can go on Amazon and get them. And you know, if you buy these books, I, I get a few bucks, and that sure helps. And uh, anyway, um, it's great that you're here, and that we can do this, and we can transform the world. You take care, and God bless.